What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play The Wind Waker HD Blind. Yeah. What the heck was that thing? What the hell? Alright, whoa, we've done half a heart. Oh, yeah, I was from the freaking gosh dog diggity. Uh, I forgot what they're called. I, I was calling them uh, P hats, but I don't think they're P hats. Oh, you know what? I think they are P hats, actually. <laughs> I like how quickly my friend. I don't think they're P hats. Oh, yeah, they're P hats. Okay, then. Those things look oddly suspicious. It doesn't look like we can do anything about them. I think we're trying to kill off all the, um, the dudes in here. Oh, maybe not. There's a treasure chest up there. Oh, okay. I thought we had to kill all the dudes to make the treasure chest appear. Maybe that was in the original game. Maybe they took that out. I don't really freaking know, to be fair. Oh, okay, well, okay. Are you, any of you going to drop? Okay. It's interesting that um, the true jelly seems to stay on the floor a lot longer than most other monster drops. Is it this still up? Yeah, oh, oh. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> Alright, let's open this. I believe... I do declare slash believe we got the dungeon map. Give you a uh, okay. <laughs> Let's take a look. That was really freaking. Oh, good lord! There's five floors of this place. That is crazy. All right, first floor it doesn't look like there's much in here. Second floor. Wow, this place is a lot. Holy crap! This place is tiny. Why is this place so tiny? Wow. Okay. Well, I'm sure this will be super easy then. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. Oh, the door is blocked by something that closes its eye when you get too close. Can we hit it with this? Maybe not. Okay, then. Well, I'm out of ideas. Hey, look, it's a giant freaking chestnut or walnut or whatever the heck this is. Now, you'll notice as you hold this. Let's see if you can see it in action here. Is it just very slowly to the point where I can't even visually see it? I see it start, like, cracking and crap. Yeah, so apparently this deteriorates the longer you hold it, and you want to use it to kill that thing while its eyes is open, because you have no other projectiles, and I don't know if you guys saw, like, those weird tentacle things actually disappeared as, as they, like, slithered away, and it was really creepy. Ooh. So, let's jump down here. Whoa. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Weird escaping. Oh, yeah, actually, now that we have a uh, Deku Leaf... We'll notice that we could use these. Use it to our advantage once I find another Deku Baba over here somewhere. Another Deku Baba. Here, two jellies. Oh, here we go. Here's one. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Use the grappling hook to grab his seed, and then we're going to use that, and it immediately puts him in the straight-up position. Now, if I'm correct... Oh, no. I thought when we killed that one, it would have turned to a Deku Baba thing in the bobs and what's it. Alright, oh, we can also use this to stun the chews to see how many times it back then. <laughs> I like if you heard it hitting up enemies at once, it'll slow down the entire game. It's pretty cool. Oh, there's one behind too. How many? There's another one there. Holy crap, how many of these assholes are there? Uh, eh. Hey, you'll see, there's this thing here. We can't open up the chest and it grows back really creepily. The way they just chop off and they just grow back is really kind of scary looking. <laughs> uh, is there no nut down here? Can this aid us? Perhaps. Try hitting it with it. Can we throw it maybe? Ooh, actually. Oh, 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 I have an idea. Aha! Burn it! I wasn't playing there either. I actually did not remember that puzzle. You got a nice crest. Keep in your spoils big. Well, they're skilled in the ways of the sword and on the value of the crest such as this. So that's one of the items that we need a lot of. Oh, okay, there's just a Deku uh, Baba thing right there. Not, not Deku Baba. And yeah, we can use our Deku Leaf to actually get rid of these leaves as well. And sometimes there'll be very important things underneath. Such as a fairy! Now, what we're going to want to do here, actually, is... Let me go to my items real quick. You know, I did have my game patch here thinking, hey, maybe it'll make... Maybe it'll make it easier to, um... Uh, freaking gosh, there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Fairy? 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 Great! I wasted my potion. Why can't I not climb up there? Why is it letting me climb up here now? Super! What my plan was, was to get rid of the blue potion and grab that fairy, but clearly that wasn't a good idea. God dang it. Well, it looks like we're back to square one. 
Oh boy, once again, laughing inside, crying. Oh yeah, and these house this house right here is actually one of the um the Deku the oh, the Koroks. Yeah, the Koroks, that's the word I'm looking for. Ooh, we're gonna go this way and watch out for these freaking tentacle assholes. They'll be assholes to you. Trust me, I know. They are the biggest of buttheads. Oh, which way we wanna go here? Oh, we wanna go okay, that's where we just came from. That's where right there. Let's go up here. But yeah, that's one of the homes they were talking about that we could find in here. <coughs> <coughs> a really cool little detail that they didn't even need to do. So I really like how they did that. Ooh, we can keep going up. It's one of those. Whoa, that scared me. Okay, do not fall for this trap. I do almost every time. Now that I'm here, I'm going to be a bit more careful of it. Oh, see, that's too close. You want to be careful not to hit that bomb. Because if you do, if you get too close, it'll immediately go off. and It'll be very, very scary for everybody. Wow, not a single one of those gave me a... Chew jelly. So, the red chew jelly will actually make potions to give you red potions, which heal your health up. The green chew jellies. Are, are we seriously going to play this game right now, Bomb? Are we seriously going to play this game right now? You're so bouncy. Unnecessarily bouncy. You would think hitting a wall like that when you're already like lit up would maybe cause you to explode, but apparently not. Oh, look at the way they just slither away. It's so creepy, man. It's a creepy man. <laughs> oh, I think it was actually. Oh, this is outside? Oh man, I didn't know this was meant to be outside. That's really cool. Wow. Wow. This game is continually, continually amazing me. Uh, Alright, let's go this way. Oh, that might have been a bad idea. Oh, never mind. We made it. Um, what was I going to say? Crap. Ooh, let's go up here. Oh, no, 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 no. Holy crap, I thought it was a Deku thing. A good Deku thing. Oh, no! Ah! Oh, dude! Good lord. Eh, eh. He must be gone, please. Alright, let's freaking toss up our, um... No. I, I kind of want to reverse that, actually. There we go. I'm already kind of used to the other method here. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, we don't have to worry about him. taking damage from him or whatevs. You're not gonna drop like Oh, there we go. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that. Really, that a Deku, a bud thing grew out of it. <laughs> a bud thing, my favorite of all the bud things. Hmm. Let's actually take a look at our map here. No. Come on, do it all. There we go. I think. No one needs the map. How do I? There we go. I gotta press. What is that? L. Which way do I want to go here? This map is not very helpful when all the floors are spread out and crap. Right, that is really helpful. I don't, I'm pretty dang sure that wasn't in the first game, right? No touchy, please. Alright, let's maneuver our way through all this junk. Oh. There's no way to get that, is there yet? Interesting. Make a note of that, guys, and we'll have to come back here later. I think I maybe would make it up to those rupees up there, but do I care? Not really. Oh, can I just make it from this? I guess we can, can't we? Boop boop. Well, might as well, we're here. Whee! I actually, actually have kind of bad memories from this temple as a child. Or dungeon, I guess, to be more technical. More technical. Alright. Um. Yeah, we can use a deck at least to actually break or fall. So we don't take damage from falling like, like I do. Like a do, like a stupid do. Oh, we don't have any magic. Well, we should be okay. So, another puzzling thing. See that there? You use the wind gust against it. And then you jump across. Can we jump down there? It doesn't look like, can we? Oh, I love the shadow. Oh, I love that we're outside. That was not a thing in the game. So, you'd be like, oh, great. So, we just hit the switch again. And it seems to be working. However, these switches actually don't always work the way that you intend them to. Another way you could propel yourself forward, which I did not know this was a kid always terrorized me, was the fact you could just use the momentum from using the reverse. Like, you know, using the air to gust you the way you want to go. Like this. So that's a hell of a lot more helpful than um, trying to aim for those switches. Well, unless you're trying, unless you're off the platform and you're trying to get it to come towards us. What if we just hit it like this? Well, that does cause it to go. Okay, cool. Good to know. It was just one of those things. Uh, that wasn't a very good example. Oh, man, these assholes. 
Yeah, we did it. And a freaking rupee. That's not what I wanted from you at all. Oh, boy. All right, let's stop playing around here and use that to get a... You got a golden feather keeping your spoiled eggs. A uh, certain strangeness em emanates from the quill of this beautifully shining golden feather when girls are too said to be infatuated with such treasures. The word that word there was definitely not such, but I said such because I am a good guy. Ah! He's already coming up from the death, from the deathly doom. I'll take that. I actually do want to run out of magic because there's something, well, not important, but kind of cool that happens with your leaf when you have no magic. But I didn't even know about it, and I thought it was really cool when I found it. I was like, yeah, I'm a cool guy. I'm a cool guy. Yeah. Right, it's a deck of Baba up and go BAM, son. Oh, a triple and stuff. Oh, so it saw another Deku bud come up from that. Oh, are we going to hit you? No, we're not. All right. Probably continue to target you. There we go. Now, as many seeds as possible here. Kill all the dudes. All right, we're going to stop worrying about the seeds for now, actually. I think I'm worrying a bit too much about them. Are you going to drop a seed, Mr. Dude? You are going to drop a seed. And you are, in fact, you could you could stay, have your status remain, Mr. Dude. And I did not want to pick that up. I wanted to roll, hopefully, towards the seed that disappeared. Now, how will I spread my children? Seed, it was a, it was a semen joke. I'm sorry. I stooped way too low that time. <laughs> hmm. You, you got a red rupee. That's 20 rupees. What pleasant surprise. Oh, man. Oh, there we go. I did it. All right. So, yeah. You, having these things heal your magic is a bit weird. But I'm really thankful it's a thing. Because <laughs> it wasn't. It would make things a lot more difficult. So, let's take that little switch to make this fly towards me. And see, this is where things probably got confusing as a kid for me. So, you jump over here and you'd be like, oh, I can't reach that switch. Oh, no. There's a platform in the way. How in the world are you supposed to do this? Well, okay. I was hoping I wouldn't maybe this isn't the spot I'm thinking <gasps> that is not close enough good sir I did not oh I guess that's as far as that goes okay interesting good to know okay for a second here I thought the oh I did not know we could break those from that for a second there I was oh good lord this might be pretty difficult oh god dang it okay it just broke itself can I just drop it oh you can by pressing ZR all right be very careful because your grief will affect this. So we're going to put it behind me. Make sure it's behind you. And I can see it slowly deteriorating as we waste time here. Oh, boy. Uh, all right. Pick her back up. All right. Uh -huh. and oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's dying. It's dying. It's dying a very slow death. It's dying a very quick death, actually. Oh, no. I kind of want to see it just break. See the difference, you guys? But the thing it's kind of weird that we can't actually see it. Like, I don't see it slowly changing. <laughs> yeah, it just explodes eventually. All right. Oh, good lord! <laughs> I didn't know about those, but they always scare me as a kid. Yeah, these are the ones that look retract when you get far enough away from them. Oh, dude, I didn't want to touch that. Oh, I'm going to keep mine. I don't have a fairy anymore. Oh, another place where we're actually outside. That is the coolest thing. I love it. Man, this game is beautiful. I take back ever thinking that this is dumb. So, yeah, I gotta use your leaf and it blow the thing out of there. This definitely stumped me as a child. Eh. <laughs> for a little while. I don't know how long I was here for. Probably a little while. I mean, I, I got the feeling I didn't know about this. And, like, I didn't realize what it could do until later on. Oh, yeah, this place. This is, like, the main hub of this temple. And what are those things? Ugh. You're moving back and forth. Like you go down there. Ooh, the water's all brown. I think it was like purple in the original game, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah, there's this little swindlers over there that are waving back and forth. They look really gross. Uh, I guess I could have made note of that earlier since we've seen those already. And then there's these things though. It's like, what the heck, man? I'm actually gonna wait for it to reset. Oh, it's so, it's so unsettling. It's like, why? Just the way they kind of dance as they move too. Like, not even to make a <laughs> it looks like a penis joke, but these actually look like penises. Like, not to be the guy that, you know, is like, <laughs> penises, <laughs> it's roughly phallic shaped, so it's a penis. 
But seriously, it actually looks like a pe they actually look like penises, which is really weird. <laughs> kind of scary, but you know, you know. Right, let's go grab these rupees. I mean, I don't think there's anything in here. And this thing is a very interesting thing. So you guys probably saw it. Just kind of swim. Oh, this is one of the Korox homes. I didn't even realize that until right now. Never noticed that before. Cool. All right. So we can either go up or we can go in that door. Let's try going in that. Well, actually, I know it's this way. We should go this way first. I think that's where we enter the room from, isn't it? I believe so. Well, looks like there's a room down there we could go to as well. Now, if I'm correct, if we get rid of these leaves. Aha! There's a hidden pot under there. Yeah, they get pretty sneaky really quick with these pots. All right. Oh, does this look familiar, you guys? Whoa, you need your leaf to get across there. Hmm. It's like the little th platform in um, Dragon Roost Cavern that we need to use our little swings or spin attack to with, but it's not going to work this time. They're too far away. We're breaking one at a time. It won't work either. I guess I should have showed that, but... <laughs> Oops, I'll probably show it once we go back up there, since we will be eventually. What the heck was that? Oh, good lord! What the heck? These things are really weird. I don't think they do damage to you. But they jump on you, they're like burrs, and they make you really heavy for some reason. So we're gonna open up this treasure chest and get a stupid- Oh, it's a yellow rupee! You got a yellow rupee! That's worth 10 rupees, not too shabby. You can actually kill them with your sword. I'm pretty sure you actually got hit him with your sword. Like, if you just- the motion of spinning also kills them, or it doesn't kill them, it just makes them fly off. Like, see, that one didn't die. I guess he didn't actually get hit by my sword. So you physically have to hit them with your sword, which is a big pain in the PP sometimes. But, you know, you gotta make deal with what you got making your way to the top. Alright, let's go inside here. Ooh. Oh, this room. Another one of those rooms that... Aw, oh, dang it, I thought I was in the clear there. One of those rooms that are really that was really tricky as a children. Ooh, look at the rupees. Oh man. Eh. That was scary. So it's a maze. Ooh, good lord. Really freaking difficult maze. Well not really difficult, and I actually kinda remember the roots here. Really? I think it actually leads to a dead end, doesn't it? Yeah it does. You go this way. Also I should like cut the grass on the path so I know exactly where to go. I gotta be very careful here. Yeah, they retract, so we don't even get like a complete way of knowing which way to go here. So yeah, we'll come up to here and be like, oh no, it's a dead end. <laughs> That's highly unfortunate. Um, I don't actually remember the solution. Oh, yes I do. Are these just all... These are nothing interesting. This room is so... like Whenever I think of this temple, this is the room I think of the holy cap that almost did not go too well. Is there something important about these jars? Not really important, but like useful. Like a joy pendant or something. Ah, there we go. And it almost fell off, and I almost cried like a little baby child. Okay, so. Can't do anything there, but we do see that there's a bomb over here. Okay. Alrighty then. Drop it and walk away. Well, they actually didn't know. Well, actually, that'd be spoilers to say, so never mind. Oh, good lord. Okay, completionist makes me want to do this. Yeah. Did it work? It worked! Yay! <laughs> I broke the upper thing there. <laughs> Alright. I believe this is going to be the one and only, the compass! You can now you can see where things are in the dungeon. View the map screen and see for yourself. Oh, there's a second treasure in here that we already saw. Three treasures on the fourth floor. One treasure right before the boss. Is that it? Oh, and three treasures on the basement one. Super. But the completionist in me really wants this treasure chest. Look at that. Ooh, is that going to be it? Did that work? It did! Once again, a thing that troubled me as a little baby child. Oh, man! Ah, oh, these things are going to be the death of me, literally. Okay, I figured those would be there. Oh, I almost walked to them again. Nice and easy, Chris. <gasps> Holy crap, I thought I thought the way to go was through there. Um, this way, and then up. Whoa! For the opening. Alright. 
what's in here you may be asking i guess you guys have to find out in the next episode thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed please feel free to leave a like subscribe if you haven't already my name's chris i have 500 rupees interesting is that the max i wonder is that why it's only like perfectly 500 no, no i really want to see <sighs> careful i really don't want to take damage here i don't think any of this grass is going to be rupee is it probably designed not to so I can cut a path in this so I can know which way to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next one, we'll figure out what's in this chest and find out if 500 rupees is the maximum amount of rupees we could hold. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.